in this video we are basically going to discuss the concept of area in two dimensional shapes we will be discussing area of quadrilaterals area of triangles area of circle and a practice question related to quadrilaterals rectangle has an area that is equal to base of rectangle multiplied by its height this is the base of rectangle and this is height of rectangle when there is a parallelogram then the area of parallelogram is equal to base multiplied by height now the height of parallelogram is a line which is making an angle of 90 degree with the base of parallelogram so this perpendicular line is the height of parallelogram and area is equal to base into height which is perpendicular to base rhombus in case of rhombus area is equal to base into perpendicular height the line which makes an angle of 90 degree here with the base now these are few quadrilaterals the next one is area of triangle area of triangle is half base into height this is one shape of a triangle here this is the base represented by b while height is a line from the vertex to the base making an angle of 90 degree with the base so area of triangle is half base into height consider this triangle this is a right angle triangle and the area is again 1 by 2 base of this triangle into height and in this case when you do not have a right triangle here when the angle is greater than 90 that is an oblique triangle or obtuse angle triangle here the area is again the base of this triangle which is this line into the height and the height is again a perpendicular drawn from vertex to extended base over here so this will be the height and this is the base the next slide is about area of trapezium this shape is a trapezium where you have got a pair of parallel sides a and b are two sides which are parallel while these two sides are not parallel now area of trapezium is h by 2 h is the perpendicular distance between the parallel sides a and b so h by 2 bracket sum of parallel sides mean a plus b will be inside the bracket and outside the bracket you have got h divided by 2 so this will give you area of trapezium this is also a trapezium and same formula will be applied in this case the next slide is related to shapes which can be divided into triangles and rectangles to find the area this is a kite if you can see if you want to find the area of this kite you can divide this kite into two triangles a triangle above and a triangle below and you can find the area of the two triangles and then you can add them now this is a pentagon and if you want to find the area of this pentagon you can divide your pentagon into a triangle this is another triangle this is a trapezium this is also a trapezium so you can compute the area in this way now this is again a pentagon an irregular pentagon 
you can find the area by dividing it into one triangle then you have got this second triangle and this one inside is the third triangle so area of all these three triangles will give you the area of this irregular pentagon the next slide is about area of circle with radius r now the area of circle is pi r square where pi is 3.142 and r is the radius area of sector basically we have a circle this is a sector which is basically part of the circle it is an area bounded by two radii one radii and one radii and an arc so this sector having an angle of theta is minor sector while this outer one is major sector so area of sector is theta over 360 into pi r square the last slide is a problem from day to day life this green rectangle is a lawn and basically this complete rectangle is a garden green area represents lawn while this blue one is a water pond now here we have to find the area of lawn in the question they have told you that if you want to plant grass in your lawn for that one bag one bag of grass seeds cover 5 square meter of lawn calculate number of bags of seeds that are required for work to be done first of all compute the area of the lawn that will be area of garden actually this is area of lawn that is equal to area of this rectangle minus area of this central pond when you will subtract them you will get area of the lawn that is shaded green so area of rectangle is 12 multiplied by 10 this is 12 and this is 10 minus the area of this pond is area of a circle that is pi r square pi is 3.14 into r that is radius is half of the diameter and diameter is 3 so half of 3 is 1.5 so 1.5 square is r square subtracting area of this circle from area of rectangle will give you area of lawn that is 112.935 meter square the number of bags are equal to total area of lawn divided by area covered by one bag of seeds so that is 5 as given here 5 square meter area is covered by one bag so divide total area of lawn by 5 you will get number of bags of seeds that will be 23 bags thank you so much